All right. Stuck at stuck at the dealership again. I think I think the truck I got is on the other side. I tell you, you meet some uh, some cool drivers though. Look at him. <laughs> it's like every time you get, depending on how long you get stuck, because most of the time, sometimes you come to the dealership for one small thing. And that one small thing can turn into days of sitting, even though I pray, God, please. I pray that I, that's not me. I don't think that's going to be me. But I was just talking to another driver, and he been here since he been here since last Thursday for a whole week. <laughs> and you hear their stories, and you feel so sorry for. Them. I've been for a week at the shitty hotel. Excuse my language. Hey, I understand. If this shitty is shitty, man. Well, at least it's a truck stop down the street. You can get a nice cup of coffee. Man, bump the coffee. I need a nice place to lay my head. The last dealership I was at, uh, the guy I met, I forget his name, but shots out to you. He was stuck there for a week. And he said it was big bugs in his hotel. He said it was roaches. He said he went outside to smoke a cigarette and somebody had flew out the bushes and asked him for a cigarette. He gave them the cigarette and then he flew back in the bushes. <laughs> Some of these places, when I tell you it's suspect, it's suspect, bro. When you get broke down and you got to get stuck at the dealership, you better hope it's in a good area or a decent place because you're going to have a story to tell after you leave. So, I pretty much had to, you know, because this, this parking lot is not that big. So, normally that'll make you detach anyway. They'll make you detach your trailer and you know go park your truck to where they can pull the truck into the bay and this is where my trailer's at i dropped the trailer right there on the side of the road they said it's good right here so i basically gotta wait until they finish me off and come to find out the problem was the upper hose the upper hose was leaking and then it's still having trans like tr air leaks because you know air supplies the transmission to be able to work so one of the holes was uh leaking air to where the air wasn't building the way it should have built and that's why i was having transmission issues but hopefully this is the last time